I'm Dr. John, and this is your Maintenance Minute. We're going to talk about something. You've probably not heard this phrase before. It's called Preventive Maintenance Plan. And let me share this with you. Every asset you have in your facility is made up of a collection of components. And if you really think about it, it's the same components. Everything's got a motor. Everything's got a coupler. Everything's got a gearbox and a cylinder and a switch and a wiring harness, nuts and bolts and pumps and those kinds of things. So let's just assume that all the assets are made up of a collection of the same kind of components. Before we put those assets into service, we need to have a real plan how we're going to maintain this piece of equipment. What's the preventive maintenance plan or the strategy? If you think about all those components I just listed, all of those have some sort of servicing requirement, have some replacement, some inspection requirement, possibly some lubrication requirement. And that leads me to the seven types of preventive maintenance. I'm going to be reading from my first book here, the maintenance or the reliability excellence workbook from my Dis action. I don't know that you'll find these seven printed anywhere else, but here, here they are. These are the seven types of preventive maintenance, servicing, installation and replacement, calibration, alignment, adjustment, inspection, and lubrication. The most important thing that we do in maintenance, and that's capital M maintenance department, that's little m, that means everybody. The most important thing we do in maintenance is preventive maintenance. Inside of preventive maintenance, the most important type of the seven types of preventive maintenance is lubrication, which makes lubrication the uber most important type of preventive maintenance that we do. It's called preventive maintenance because we're preventing larger, more expensive maintenance activities. For example, uh, everyone here would probably agree that checking the air in your tires and inflating them to the right pressure is maintenance, right? You got a maintenance person doing that. That is a servicing type of preventive maintenance, in fact. That activity is preferred versus prematurely replacing our tires are wearing out our suspension or damaging our steering because our tires are underinflated. So we're preventing larger, more expensive maintenance, which would be maybe a premature uh, replacement of our tires at a time that uh, that is not convenient for us, of course. So we do preventive maintenance to prevent. That's why it's called preventive maintenance. I'm suggesting that you take a look at your assets and ask yourself if I have a real solid plan. Do I have a process by which I have a plan in place to maintain a piece of equipment before we put it we put it into service? And am I effectively using these seven types of preventive maintenance? And in my organization, is lubrication known to be the most important type of preventive maintenance that we do? If I came and looked at your lubrication storage area, am I going to get a sense that you know it is the most important type of preventive maintenance that we do? I would enjoy an opportunity to speak to you guys about preventive maintenance and a preventive maintenance plan. But for now, this has been Dr. John, and this has been your Maintenance Minute.